Vice President Senator Kashim Shatima has assured Nigerians that their sacrifices will not be in vain, saying the promises made by the Tinubu administration will be fulfilled. Senator Shatima made the remarks today during a public lecture titled Actualizing the Vision of Renewed Hope for Social Economic Development Through Effective Leadership. To commemorate Nigeria's 63rd independence anniversary at the State House, Abuja. He said President Tinubu's administration is committed to building a country where the economic independence of each citizen is guaranteed and where none of them has to depend on unspecified handouts to earn a living. The present administration also recognizes that the sacrifices made by each Nigerian will never be in vain. Such solidarity with our economic revival strategy, from the bustling streets of Lagos to the serene landscape of Inugu, has inspired our focus on diverse sectors, from agriculture to digital technology, from healthcare to education. We knew from the starting point of this race to serve the people that the track will not be without its holes and thorns. We knew that challenges will arise and obstacles will test our resolve. But as our history has shown, Nigerians are too ambitious to be broken by a temporary setback. We are going to emerge from this place of our reform stronger. Each of us will renew hope as we honor the labor of our heroes past. As we reflect on the values and principles that have brought us this far, as we strive to excel in all that we do. And as we work together towards a future where opportunity knows no bounds, let's remember that our most potent weapon is the overriding resolve of the majority to choose unity over chaos and democracy over anarchy. Happy independence. Let me assure you that beyond the celebration of the 63rd independence anniversary, Office of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation as a coordinating point implementing for implementation of policies and decisions of government that has made full arrangements to document and carry forward the critical outcomes of the symposium to the highest level of political leadership. We are necessary relevant national think tank institutions, such as the National Institute for Strategic Studies, NIPS, and the Nigerian Institute for Social and Economic Research, NISO, would be engaged to deepen the articulation. The issue of coming up with a living wage is the foundation of the corrupt free society. If a worker is paid well, he is paid enough to be able to afford his basic needs. It will help to eliminate corruption in a significant way. Because he does not need to, to steal to be able to feed his family. He doesn't need to steal to be able to, be able to pay his rent. He doesn't have to steal to take his children to school. Today in the Nigerian project, this is what is completely absent. We owe it a duty to ourselves, to our children, and the generations yet are born, to play our parts as leaders at whatever level we find ourselves. The election of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, despite all the odds on his path, must minister to us as a nation about the awesomeness and grace of God. As the president, he has praised before us his vision of renewed hope. At this time in our nation's history, he is the eagle on our nation's coat of arms. The visionary has perched, but his plumage is going to be provided by all of us in leadership positions at all levels across the three tiers of government in this nation at national and subnational levels. The issues that I've identified in this paper are the feathers to be regenerated by the effective leadership that he is expecting you all to provide in your respective positions. He is anxiously waiting for these feathers to enable him to spread those wings to their full span and lift up for Nigeria to soar to the skies 
the skies of his social economic development, national unity, and prosperity. Happy 63rd anniversary of our nation's independence. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.